Since I'm going to be telling you about what I read, I thought I would tell you about why I read. I have several motivations for reading, and one of them is just to escape. To escape from my mundane life and have some entertainment. To do this, I often choose YA fiction, such as The Hunger Games, which is very fast-paced and exciting, or basically any book by Gail Carrier. This is Soulless, the first in the Parasol Protectorate. I also often read books by Rick Riordan, such as this one, The Sword of Summer. These are all easy and fast reads, uh, some middle grade, some YA, and it's just exciting and it pulls me out of my everyday life. The next reason that I read is an early motivation. I wanted to know what was going on in other people's heads. Books that have helped me in this quest, if you can call it that, include this one, Vivian vs the Apocalypse. The main character is very different from me, and now I understand a little bit more about other people. The same could be said for this one. They have different motivations and different thoughts and different bodies, and it helps me understand more. An obvious one here is Game of Thrones or the Song of Ice and Fire series, where you get to meet a lot of different characters with a lot of different motivations and personalities. I find reading about other people and learning how other people's minds work is really interesting. Another motivation is to learn about new things and see the world in a new way. Books that have helped me in this include All the Light We Cannot See, which is a different time and a different setting and different place and it all just helped me learn. Behind the Beautiful Forevers, uh, which is also a different place, very different place, India, and a slum. Very different people, very different situations. It's exciting to learn so many new things. Speak by Laurie Hals Anderson. It has taught me a lot about the experiences of other people and how they react to them. Finally, I consider stories and the use of words art, so I will read to experience more art. Examples of novels that I consider art, which are well-crafted, where the words are carefully chosen. The Name of the Wind, which is a beautifully crafted text, and also a really good story. The Book Thief is another such beautifully crafted book, and uh, I consider it a work of art. This search for art in books is also the reason that I read poetry. Here is one of the poetry collections I own, a collection of poems from different poets writing about the different seasons. These reasons are by no means mutually exclusive. My ideal book would include all four and appeal to me. So those were a few of the reasons that I read. Hi there.